from Fort Myers. And every time I look at this video, I see something different. So let's take a look at what we're seeing here. And across the Fort Myers area, all the way out towards Fort Myers Beach, where some of these images are taken from, the devastation there is catastrophic. I don't know another word. You look, these are the shrimp boats this out of Fort Myers trend. Beach. So I've, I've tried to avoid some of these images today, going to bed last night, seeing them come in. And I knew the moment this sun came up, we had our crews out. But we can't avoid it, right? I mean, no. this, is, this is our reality, and this is what we're going to do, as Lauren said it. This is day one after day zero was yesterday. We, we can do this day at a time. Yeah, we have to. The Mantanzas Harbor there where the shrimp boats sit, that's one of the iconic views. When you get on the top of the Mantanzas Pass Bridge, you look to the left and you're like, oh, there are the shrimp boats. Uh, the Parrot Key Caribbean Grill sits past there mm -hmm. at Salty Sam's Marina. And the other ship there that a lot of families love is the pirate ship. Uh -huh. And the damage through there, the amount of storm surge that came across the sterile boulevard is just incredible. We're going to flip over to the ground view of Fort Myers Beach. And if you take that same bridge I just mentioned, and the minute you hit down uh, there on Estero Boulevard, you see all the restaurants and you see Times mm. Square straight ahead and the beautiful Fort Myers Fishing Pier. This is what gets to me because as you come over the bridge, you mm -hmm. see all the colorful um, buildings that really define what Fort Myers Beach is. You have the shrimp boats and you have the boats coming in and out. You even have the beautiful yachts out there and you have all of these restaurants. Times Square, where so many of us visit, where we probably, that's the first place we go when we have family or friends in town. Yeah, if someone vacations here, you always get a photo in front of the clock on Times Square. It's a little Maori Square type feel uh, that it's you so get down cute. in Key West. And those buildings, you see the colorful wood there on the ground. The storm surge came in so high and with so much weight and force that it knocked those buildings down. The Fort Myers Pier there to the left, the fishing pier, all that is left of the fishing pier are the concrete studs and they are going to have to rebuild the Fort Myers fishing pier along with Times Square. I'm positive we'll get a new, stronger version of that, but it is heartbreaking to see the kind of damage and right now they are not letting people over the Matanzas Pass Bridge all. so those folks are still a little isolated waiting for help first responders. And the hardest part is it's not only the pier, the businesses, the places we love to visit, it's all of those homes that were just down the road uh, right there on Estero Island. Well let's go ahead and get one uh, check with